Hello, Simmers. Happy New Year. This is my first video of 2018. And I thought I would bring to you something that I think a lot of people may need. It's a simple how to add custom content and mods to your game. Oh, by the way, um, at the top left of the screen is my discord group a link to it will be down below um, if you want to join and talk about sims okay the process of downloading both cc and mods is the same so we will cover them both at once they are installed in documents forward slash electronic arts forward slash the sims 4 forward slash mods for windows users documents is usually on the left in the menu as you see on the left open window explorer or find finder on mac click on the documents folder electronic arts and then the sims 4 done so you will need to make yourself a mods folder since the latest patch was released players now need to enable mods through their options menu so what you need to do is go into game options other and tick script mods allowed and enable custom content and mods if you do not tick these two your mods are not going or your custom content are not going to work you will also see that you can view your custom content and in this case this is all of mine yes it's a lot you can always tick it for it to show up at the start but you don't need it to so as long as you've got these two ticked and you click apply they will work so as long as you have them enabled um, into your game it will show up sometimes your mods will conflict with each other and um, as you can see here with C Nanas and Anthony YouTube, I have a mod <laughs> that um, is conflicting with my game. But they are posing just because they can, not because they've been asked to. Oh, and um, by the way, we're in Tom Syndicate's house. Um, my next video, hopefully, will be showing you how to get rid of said conflicts but back to putting mods into your game okay as I was saying about script mods a script mod is something that changes the script of the game hence the MCC mod now putting this into your game do not I repeat do not put this into a folder the folder that is okay for you to put in is the sims 4 forward slash mods mcc is okay but the sims 4 mods script mods slash mcc is not in other words do not put a script mod in its own folder so that's that making sure that the script mod is in the mods folder but not a folder on its own but other content cc's and mods can be in their own folder installing is pretty much hands off and you just got to put them in the mods folder but you will sometimes have to deal with zip files remember script mods are not unzipped but everything else should be newer mods 
may have the .ts4 script expansion, which you leave alone. Pictures and instruc instructions inside the zip are usually unnecessary. Sometimes mod creators give you these very instructions. Extract package file, copy it to your mods folder, enjoy. If you download a sim or a sim house lot from a place other than the gallery, it will go in your tray folder, not your mods folder. And that is where you will put in rooms, houses that you've downloaded from other places online that you download CCs from. Now if you want to know how to download the Mac command, this is already on my channel. There will be a link to the um, Wicked Whims, which is an over 18s simulation that you can put into your game so it makes the Wahoo more realistic. Uh, and that's all I'm going to say on the subject for the simple reason um, I like to keep this um, PG 13, this channel. Unfortunately, I really don't have a Mac computer, I only have. Um, a, a PC but I presume that the folders would be in the right place in the same place now places to find uh, content which I find is safe and good to use is Mod The Sims The Sims Resources The Sims 4 Downloads and there'll be also a link to my Facebook group, a plug, a plug, a plug, where you will be able to find in the files where you can also find other places to download said folder. Now, let's show you how you physically do it, because I've noticed that some of you actually need to see it to be able to do it. So let's do that. Let's go to here. Because I have it already. The Sims Resources is my favourite places for custom content. Now you will have to make another account, but it is completely free. It's one of the things that EA said if you're going to use custom content for other people to use, it must be free. I mean, a long time ago, the Sims Resources you had to pay for. So, anyway, you can also do it for Sims 1 if you still have that and are still lucky to be able to run that on your computer. Sims 2, Sims 3 and Sims 4. But seeing that we're just concentrating on Sims 4, I will show you easy things to download. Now let's go with clothing because I presume that's what most of you want. As you can see, there is so much awesome, awesome stuff. So, um, lots of people will be asking where I got my YouTube t-shirt from. Um, it was here. If you just put in here YouTube, search, and it does come up with different creators from YouTube stuff. Ah, here for instance, I'm Wildcat. You can have male version and the female version. So, um, oh, how about Dan? He's popular. Dan is not on fire. See, I'm hip, I'm trendy, I'm down with the kids. Literally, download button. You wait for your 10 seconds, ads will pop up occasionally. Some people say that you have to have a, a different folder. I go uh, downloads. Um, into mods folder. 
and then save and this is just a package folder so you go show all show in folder and you don't have to unpack this you literally just have to cut documents electronic arts sims 4 mods now if you want to put it in your cas folder put it in cas folder you can see i've got a lot there and then paste and there it's in your game simple as that there are social media t-shirts too there are like i say millions of hairstyles everywhere but it um credits the mesh by somebody else and it will say you need the original mesh so always read the creator's notes because if you don't have mesh in the game then it will not um well simply it will not work um, it says required external mesh and then all you do is highlight it go to here loads if it doesn't say mesh needed you know that you don't need it and then you just download that in the same way put it into your game and then go back to the one that you wanted and download that and then the one that you wanted will work if there's anything you'd want me to explain more you can either contact me at lady plays sims on twitter or my facebook group the sims one to four and back again links to that below thank you um and i'm always there to help or even in the comments uh, you'll always find me in the comments something i do want to show you really really quickly that is a pet peeve say you're in the forums on the facebook and you oh, on the facebooks <laughs> really beginning to sound old and you want to show people something that's happened in your game it's really easy Hang on. documents electronic arts sims 4 you press c and it will take a screenshot of whatever's happening so for instance and you will find it in screenshots once you've taken that photograph so for instance is this one say for instance you've done a screenshot and you want to show people all you need to do is cycle through till you find the right one and then say for instance we wanted that one and then you can copy Once you've copied it, you paste it, and there it is here, and then you go to your Facebook, photo, pictures, where has it gone, there, and then T-E-S, later why um then you put in your description of what why you're posting it to your to the group or whatever group you are and then you just put post and that way you will get your perfect picture instead of a phone picture it is a personal peeve of mine and like i say it's quite easy and um you can do it into other groups too but I won't obviously put it into these groups because they'll be like hmm, what but yeah that's as simple as that really if there is anything else you'd like to know or see me do please let me know in comments until next time guys thanks for watching goodbye
forget to like, favorite, 